What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, bringing you yet another video for this first build of Windows 11, build 22,000. Today, we are going to look right here at the widgets area or the dashboard, I'm sorry, it's actually this icon, the widgets area. I call it dashboard, but it's just the widgets area. This essentially took over news and interests, um, the infamous panel that showed you your weather right here on Windows 10. And now it doesn't really interrupt you showing you the date and time or showing you the weather in this corner. It doesn't do anything. You just have to click it, which is this icon. And then it comes up and you can see uh, my weather area. You can see various elements in my calendar and other things like that, stocks, uh, esports. And you might wonder why yours doesn't look like this. Uh, that's just simply because I modified it. Uh, you can actually modify it. And there's so much news things that you can click on. And it looks like they even updated the scrolling across the OS. That's pretty nice as well. So for starters, it allows you to search the web. And I had done a test before um, I did this video. And I was curious because there's uh, when you click this, it allows you to search the web here. But then when you click search, it also allows you to search here, which allows you to search the web right there. So it's the same thing, essentially, in two different places, literally kind of right next to each other. So it's very interesting. Uh, but other than that, modifying widgets and obviously when the os comes out hopefully people start developers start developing widgets for this platform so that we have more interactive widgets so let's say uh add widgets and then right now there aren't many widgets that i have i can add traffic i can add tips i can add to do so you know what and then you have esports and various other things you see the grayed out area is what i'm already using honestly it's probably what most people are going to use but i'll add to do i don't actually use microsoft to do but you can see how it looks like and then if I hit the X button right here, it goes back out and you see that you got to do it's actually an interactable widget. So in my previous video where I did uh, Microsoft to do Windows 10 app review, um, one of my early videos, you can see that I created this bubs area and it says do Microsoft to do app review. You can actually interact with the widget, which is pretty nice. Um, you can add new tasks to do on the to do app. You can add new calendar events, which obviously opens up your calendar on Windows. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting. You see this popped up right here. It's actually showed up Outlook on the web, which is strange. It didn't open up the calendar itself. But it's kind of interesting that they did this. They said, you know what? We need we need people to use news and interest. Let's make it take up one third of the screen, about a third of the screen. Obviously, on my full size screen, it doesn't take up a third, but it takes up like a fifth. It's still very big. Um, it's kind of annoying still to me. Um, but it's there. You can choose to not use it, obviously. And it's not permanently sitting on your you know your taskbar you can always remove it just by right clicking it and unpin it but i mean i guess it's a nice feature to have just see things at a glance hopefully we get more adoption in the future uh with these widgets because i could see it going places i mean obviously we're not apple we don't get that kind of support but if if even some of these developers that i've seen do that i've done app reviews for if they come out with widgets for their app that will be amazing um, I would definitely, definitely look at widget app reviews, honestly. So let me know what you guys think. It's a very general thing here. You got your search. If you start searching, let's say I search for Google, um, you can search Bing and then it'll bring up your browser. Um, obviously, Edge is my default right now. And you can go to Google if you wanted to. Overall, it's uh, it's pretty clean. Again, my only gripe that I would say to change on this thing would be allow me to resize this just like how the Windows 10 start menu was just resize it to any any shape um, and then let the widgets adapt to that size I would say that would solve my gripe of why this is so big on the screen it takes up too much space on the screen I wish it was at least half the I wish it was just half of what it is right now honestly if if we can't resize it chop it in half and that will be it for me um, and maybe you can do a like a span for it or something like that but Overall, that's about it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, take care.